Hey guys, this is SF and today I'll be introducing a new game and this is called Terra Battle 2. So I know a lot of people have heard of Terra Battle 1 and this is the sequel and there's some improvements. I haven't played the first one for like over 2-3 years so I don't really know everything about Terra Battle but I have played the game before and somewhat know uh, the gameplay mechanics so for people that have just started I'll talk about the gameplay mechanics. So there are two two modes for Terra Battle 2. One is quests. Uh, quests is basically uh, defeating bosses and grabbing materials and stuff. And there's a second mode called story. Story doesn't require any stamina, and basically, it's the some it's something new from Terra Battle 2. And basically, in the story mode, you get a giant map. And when I mean giant, I mean like a giant map. Like there's a lot of things going on here. And basically you control a team of five, uh, four of your own team and then one uh, one friend. And then you basically move around the map and defeating monsters and of course follow the story as well. So let's get into actually playing the game. So in, in story mode, you hold down a guy and that's just the stats and stuff and then you just drag it along and then you have a certain amount of seconds for it for you to uh, stop and once you stop near enemies then you have three buttons one is to use an item use a field item uh, basically to uh, heal up or increase attack or whatever next one the staff is using a field skill and they have different skills to give you advantages in the actual battle upcoming battle and then the giant blue one with the sword is just battle so let's go into battle okay and like I said it is uh, it is basically like Terra Battle 1 from what I've remembered in terms of the actual playing of the game so you basically hold you basically control one guy you move one guy and then uh, you just move around like this just go crazy and whatever and then you can move your enemies around you can move your own guys and then you stop and then you attack and then the way you attack the way you attack is when you have two of your allies sandwiching uh, enemies it could be one enemy it could be two enemies so for instance uh, let's sandwich the top two on the uh, the two that are in the second row counting from the top and let's just choose two guys so let's choose this guy and the fire guy up on top. Whoopsie. Fire guy up on top and then just squish them like that. And then they'll start attacking. And then once they attack, they have their own special skills. And uh, whether it's attack or healing, you have one healer usually. And then uh, you defeat enemies that way. So let's start. Let's keep on moving. You can only move one guy at a time. Like you can only move one guy. And let's just move this guy up and sandwich that. That's the simple gameplay. Uh, of course, it gets a little bit more complicated once you can start chaining each other. So let's try chaining stuff. Uh, so basically, you chain when, of course, you have the sandwich. And then whether one of your guys inside the sandwich is either horizontal or vertically connected. So for instance, this guy right here is... Uh, vertically connected to this guy to the guy that I'm pressing right now and basically once I sandwich it then this guy will proc that guy on the fire and then they'll shoot his ability and then also I can stack this guy connect that guy and you see a giant line in between and you know it'll proc their abilities whether it's attack ones or healing and I think there might be buffs I'm not sure and then that's the basic battle it is very complicated uh, once you get deep, very deep into the game. But all you gotta remember is just sandwich enemies and you should be doing fine. Now in terms of story mode, you have, it's kind of like a turn-based strategy. Where you move once and then the enemy starts moving. And then if anybody's within, within that giant red circle, giant red square, then you'll start an enemy attack. So let's do one more battle for now. And let's attack. Now there are bosses and things like that, uh, which get uh, which get very hard later on. 
Uh, this is only chapter 2 and I heard that chapter 3 is really really crazy so I'm gonna leave chapter 3 alone for now and let's just stack let's just sandwich this guy for now this stack of 4 and that will clear it so good very good and let's just sandwich this guy and there we go so you can move up down left right and then you can go diagonally as well good so that's basically the actual gameplay so for people that love like puzzle type kind of games then this might be very uh, very very good for you it does take a lot of practice even i'm pretty sure i'm not doing the best right now but i'm just doing decent like I said, I haven't played Terra Battle 1 for like a long, long time. And let's see those guys move around. If they go into that red square, then yeah, then, then they'll be attacking. So the thing about story mode is that you can quit any time that you want and then you'll be back to where you started. So it's also nice. Uh, so it's also great to actually. Uh, so it's actually if you want to take a break, then, you know, you can save it. And then go back to story, and then you will be, uh, you'll be back to where you started, and it will be your turn. So, that's basically the game itself, in my opinion. Uh, I'm not going to really go crazy on it. I might not even even finish the story mode. And uh, there's not many quests out there. There is a co-op quest right now, uh, but of course you have to find people to play with. And since the game just started, there's not a lot that you can. There's not a lot of people that are on right now. Next one is Leviathan. Leviathan is... I played the easy mode with my current characters and I got wrecked. So you probably need some higher uh, higher guardians, which are characters, and of course equipment as well. Next ones are Recode, Recode Quests and Metal Zone. And they're basically for evolving or evolving your guys. And they'll get new abilities and things like that. But in terms of... The monsters, there are a ton of monsters and the way you get them is through the pack of resolve. So a lot of people that are starting out right now might not even get the pack of resolve. The way you get it is by completing chapter 1 and playing chapter 2. And you get it while you're playing chapter 2 and then you'll meet this giant tree guy and then they'll and then you will be able to summon. So it's not really good for re-rolling for people that re-roll. You'll, chapter 1 takes like even if you speed run it will take like 20 to 30 minutes depending on how fast you can actually go but let's try the hatcher let's try to pack a resolve uh, for a limited time it's 30 energy and from what I've heard Terra Battle needs 50 for a 10 shot but since it's the start of the of Terra Battle 2 uh, it's 30 per 10 shot so let's do two 10 shots and let's try it out now there are SS class there's Z classes. I think Z classes are the best, but I'm not sure. So let's just see if I get anything good. The rates are kind of abysmal if you're looking for a specific monster because there's characters, guardians, as well as equipment in the same hatcher. So let's see a B class. So it's B A S S S, and that's the equipment. You kind of want guardians first. Just so that you got, you can replace some of your old. Uh, ooh, SS. Oh, it's a weapon. That's fine. An A class guardian. A B class guardian. A class guardian. SS guardian. That's nice. Whoops. There's some random notification, but whatever. B class. So let's do one more and see how that goes. I think an SS class guardian. I think that's the highest and then I think there's Z I think Z Z is the highest a class a class a class B class that's a dupe B class a B a B oh that's sad so I did get a lot of guardians so let's change my monsters up where did I get them I should get them in your inbox. Go to your inbox and then receive all. Receive everything. I got 15 guardians and 5 equipment. So that's not bad. Let's go to my setup. And basically 
replace all these guys. So I got an SS Gantt. And if you hold it, you'll see, actually set it up. And then they'll have different effects. So let's see the effect on this guy. Give me the effect. It's called Mega Stab. I don't think there's something, there's nothing great about it. I think afterwards you'll get, uh, you'll get other, other stuff. Let's see skills, you rewards, okay. But yeah, there's a lot of different things here. And each one of them has special abilities. And of course you can set your equipment as well. So I had a bunch of equipments. Where are the equipments? There's some A-class spears as well I can use for this character. Or I can put an S-class -S sword onto him and then he'll do sword damage. There are different types of weapons. So spears, swords, and rods, and like scepters. So that's pretty much it for Terra Battle 2. If you have any other questions and what I should actually improve on in talking about like first impressions and, and introducing new games because I want to do these more very uh, more often and in the future so by all means comment but Terra Battle 2 is not a bad game uh, if you've played Terra Battle 1 then it's something new in terms of the story mode but it's the same gameplay that you've been playing since Terra Battle 1 but uh, that's pretty much it for me I hope you guys like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye bye